Did you guys know that Hearthstone buffed arguably the worst card in the game, Explore on Goro? You used to be one mana. So what would happen is you would spend two mana to replace your deck, and then you would still have to pay one mana to use a card. It was pretty sick. They decided that that was too good. So they decided to buff the card for now that when you Explore on Goro, it costs zero mana, which is very nice. So it went from literally the worst card in the game to arguably the best card in the game. I'm not going to be the one to say it officially, but let me just see what the uh, the best reviewers of all time say. Uh, type one in chat if you believe this is the best card. But we're going to make it a little spicier. If I don't win a game in the first 10 times I play Explore the Angoro in the first two turns, what are we getting, chat? Dust Tony, you can yourself have to kiss a random chatter easy bro we'll do this we'll do the tightener we'll do this one we'll do the 25 bucks one because like listen 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 okay i can't no balls that's fine i will craft two golden ones because you know what they buffed this card and i have to look fancy for the youtube i put in what did i disenchant it i'm fucking drunk okay well we're no longer playing it with gold <laughs> Is there any way we can get this card guaranteed on turn one or two thoughts? Anyone have any spicy concepts here? I have an idea, uh, but I'm curious to see if anyone has it. Concede a lot. Just press complete my deck and send it. Huh. You know, I, you know what? It's my only skin. All right, good. There he is in the flesh looking beautiful as ever. All right. Will Explore Angora win me a game today? For the record, this card should be better because there's better cards over the years. Oh, man. The, the problem with wait, these are okay hold on dude these are so bad this card does nothing it's a five mana zero five this card actually does nothing because there's no more weapons in my deck because i'm exploring on goro and also this one does nothing because my whole deck is the same card okay here we go you can't be serious <laughs> I don't think this is very good, so I will be playing this. Now we're in a really awkward spot. This doesn't even draw me anything anymore, man. Well, hold on. Yo, we can we can dredge right now. We can dredge right now to get another one of these. <laughs> All right, let's do it. No, okay, actually good. Actually a good card. Actually a good card. And it's Joe over. This card does nothing. Okay, this card's something. I mean, two dragons in my hand. Pretty poggers, pretty poggers. I'm actually just going to do this. I think we'll be good. I think we'll be good. This is nice. Okay, here we go. Did I forge a card? No, I didn't. Oh my God. I guess it's the gangplank diver and I hardly know her. And we'll, 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 we'll discover last. Ignis and... Wait, maybe you guys were right. Wait, this is actually not that bad. Wait, wait, wait. Here we go. Here we go. How many Explorer and Goro decks do you think we'll see in the top eight meta snapshots for Tempo Store? <laughs> I mean, we're already at it. I might as well just play it. It's not going to get any better. We'll just put the Sandbinder in the middle. All right, we got this. We got this. Chat, I said Dej to my girlfriend. Dej, like D, like dead with G at the end of it. And she called me cringe thoughts. Do I call her cringe back or like, is she just objectively correct? <laughs> you take the L. All right, fair enough. Okay, what about, what do we got? Honestly, not that bad. All right, we're in. I'm going to hit this so he can't just one shot this. Yeah, I mean, he's still going to one shot. It doesn't matter. I still can't believe the guy did. Get rolled, buddy. All right. Wh at what point do we just concede? <laughs> I think it's now. <laughs> I think it's over, dude. All right, we're going to make this deck better. Quick intermission before we get to the next game and build the deck. Let me explain something to you, chat. In the year 2016, I was a Riven one trick, basically. Riven one trick, basically. If you don't know who Riven is, she's a League of Legends champion. Kind of a baddie, if I may say so myself. She had this skin, which was the uh, Championship Riven 2016 skin. Actually, at the time, hella nice skin but there was two ways you could have got this skin one was you bought it in the shop like a regular person two you went to worlds that year and they gave it to people for free i a stupid idiot didn't buy the skin in the shop which means the only way i can get 2016 ribbon or championship ribbon in 2016 was by paying somebody for a code because worlds was in korea that year fortunately for me one of my best friend's brother worked in korea and he actually went to worlds that year so he got the code for championship ribbon even better for me he didn't play ribbon at the time you know what he did chat he came home we're watching i don't remember what we were doing and he's like i'll sell it to you and i said how much would you sell me championship ribbon because this is actually i think
think at the time one of the most rare skins in the game and he sold it for me i'm not listen you guys gotta promise me you won't say keck w in chat please i can't handle the keck w's this morning he sold it to me i don't how old was i i was i was definitely stupid i'll tell you what because i bought it for 300 dollars now, I know what you're probably thinking, Ryan, that was a really good investment. The the price of that skin is going to only come up, right? I know. Really, really. It was like the NFT of our generation, right? Rito Games decided at some point in time uh, to actually slap me in the face even further because they eventually released. Oh, sorry. This was from 2012, not from 2016. 2012. That's what it's from. They released another one in 2016. I bought the one from 2012. Again, rare ass skin at the time. They released another one in 2016 what the fuck was that what is that that's that was the that was the biggest slap to my face and that was the day i stopped playing league of legends am i still playing now yeah shut up but like i took a break you know to, to, to stand for a stand up for myself uh did i spend 300 dollars on it yes do i feel good about it no there's a lot of things i could have done differently with that money but you know what at the moment and my my young age of i don't remember how old i was in 2012 i was like 15 16 i thought it was ripe for the taking and trust me i thought riven was a baddie oh no harry, harry potter's pulling out the murlocs oh no it's over bro it's it's literally over potter's falling on hard times if he's resorting to this he can't keep up with the inflation of the wizarding world oh my god i'm getting smacked by a tired color all right my moment is here what are these I need a card that deals with this right now, please, game. None of these do anything. Let's sort of remember where we're at. Anyone know how to cast a Vada Kedavra? Card. Does it only give you minions? Is that what the... All right, hold on. Hold on. Can we cook? Oh, no, dude. It's already over. I need someone who's doing absolutely nothing for me to win this. Right, did you know that the Riven skin ruined the lull market? For more information, Google Riven inflation. You know, I'm going to not Google that. All right, here we go. I mean, if you think about it. No, that doesn't even work. <laughs> oh, I'm just dead. Dude, that was very rude, Harry. Very rude. Uh, any uh, positive reinforcement from me, chat? Let me let me give you a listen. Spore and Goro may look really bad right now, but you just wait until it absolutely pops off. Okay, you wait. All right, we need a guy who's not playing Murlocs because <laughs> we're not going to beat that. Oh, God, he's playing Mech Paladin, bro. What are with these aggro players? Dude, it is it is 10 o'clock in the morning for me. Imagine waking up today and saying, I want to play aggro Paladin. Dude, I'm about to get. I'm about to get rolled. Okay, what's that casting couch behind you, bro? Look at this game state and, and then ask that question again. I think you know what the casting couch behind me is for. Let me show you. POV, you're here for a good time, not a long time. I'm waiting for this. Uh, wait, never mind. He played he played Explorinator. Hold on. We, we're, we're actually kind of okay here. And he traded. He doesn't know the power of Explorer Go. He's actually throwing for content. Here we go. Oh my God. Okay. I mean, like, at least I can play something, right? Smile. Okay, I'm just gonna listen just so we have a longer game here. I'm gonna trade that in. Hello, Raren. What deck is this? The deck you should not play. So, you guys think I'm gonna get any good cards from the packs I'm gonna open after this? What do you guys think? I'm, I'm kind of excited because uh, I, I, I listen here, guys. I don't think this is gonna be good. Also, I don't know if you guys noticed I'm bronze 10. I'm uh, about to be bronze 11. What now? Oh my god. I mean, I'm gonna put a ton in the way so at least I survive live another turn where is the so-called deck tracker it's too expensive man way too much money way too much money oh my god bro give me a break okay what can you get brawl from these discover a card I'm, I'm assuming you can get spell perfect just what i fucking needed and me Can you please make the deck around Explorer and Goro less cringe? How do you make it less cringe if I have to play it in the first two turns? Our best through failure. Oh, a man of culture, I see. Okay, everyone get ready to pog when we win. If I lose this, I, I don't think I'm ever gonna get a better chance. This place is Wait, did he cook? Who's the better explorer is the question. Oh, that card's actually insane. Wait, he's just better than me. It was, I asked the question and it was immediately solved after he played his next turn. I mean, Stipstop's actually not that bad. Reggie gets a good pile on this. I'll play this runner. 
As an rare and only fans frequenter, I can confirm Raren's jacked out of his mind. He killed my shredder. Yo, actually kind of fire, but he just plays both of them. So we have to go in with the slippy tech. That was his name in high school, by the way. The slippy tech. Ooh, can I rip him? Yo, unironically, I don't think I want to take a, I don't want to take five damage, right? <laughs> oh God. Okay, see, I knew this card was coming clutch. I just need a second one, watch. Okay, let me think about the long con here. So I am probably gonna do this. Steal the three, three. We become our best through failure. I think objectively that's the worst one. I think objectively, right? I think it's just I think it's just bad. Curious Emily, what is this? You guys want this? What the hell is this? I'll add it, whatever. What are these, man? I can get a bunch of zero class minions. What do you guys think? Uh, I think it's a, I can play a four and a three. Okay, next time we actually pop off with Auctioneer. Okay, Auctioneer actually is pog. Chat, we, you think it's over? It's not. Hold on, hold on. All right, all right. Everyone get ready for this absolute pop off. I want to see a bunch of pogs in the chat. Here we go. Look at this. Look at this. We're, we're gaming. We're gaming. We're gaming. This is straight gaming. Oh my God. Malagos for the refill. Easy. Oh my God. Um, um, the card that does something. This card, I think, does something. Darius Crowley, nuts. Okay, we're popping off. We are popping off. Actually insane. Let's put this can trade into this, and I think that's really good. He's got his quest, though. It's over. All right, I actually like the idea of playing Saul first in the deck. I think I'm going to take his his play. We're going to... I'm going to learn. I'm going to adapt my... He killed my auctioneer. I think it's over, boys. <laughs> I'm going to take his strat. I'm, I'm, I'm man enough to say that his deck is better than my deck. I'm counting that as a loss, my guy, even though you stream sniped me. Don't don't act like that wasn't a don't act like that wasn't over. I am going to steal your idea, though. Thief, it's fine. Listen, if you guys don't know anything about Hearthstone content creators, listen, this is how it works. Someone plays a deck. I change one card and then it's my deck now. That's how it works. Even if I change one card. All right, here we go. OK, actually, actually, is this ever worth it? This might be the ticket to win the game. This might be the ticket. I'm not even trolling. This is a board clear and a potentially a 12 12. We can make it work. We can make it work. Oh my God. Why are you doing this to yourself? Dude, I'm just trying to have fun. Honestly, you know what? I'm going to say something. This might be controversial. This might be controversial, but let me say it. I think doing these challenges is more fun than playing standard thoughts. That might be the worst card I've ever seen in my life. Man, Molten Breath or Dragon Roar? Take both for the combo. No, I agree. Why would you give him more minions? Well, so this card, if they if they blow up, um, I destroy every minion on the board. Plus, I summon a 12-12. And I think that's a better strategy than hoping that I just get a card that wins me the game, right? Oh, man. You know, honestly, the Voodoo Doctor might not be the worst play I've ever seen. Why did I add this to my deck? Any fingers? I'm going to I have to start killing these. Otherwise, I'm just never going to win. Why no quest? I mean, I have no time. Oh, I should have played it there. You're right. You're right. No, I could have played there. Jesus fucking Christ. Um, here we go. That's the real ticket. <laughs> oh, nice. He's he's actually he's he's dying of cringe here. Hold on, let's do this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. You guys all laughed at me. It's time, baby. Here we go. Sick animation, to be honest with you. Now we have a 12 12 on board against the Warlock. They, they they actually don't have any spells that can kill this. It's going to be fantastic. How do I attack? Why are you just playing that? That's very rude. Very rude. But don't worry, I'm going to get a card that saves me here. <laughs> I want to die. I'm going to go with the card. I mean, the taunt actually might be relevant. So maybe I'll do taunt. Okay. I'm going to trade here. I am going to play this. So I have a small chance of wait, but then I just die, right? Should I play this? And we'll play this for fun. Oh my God, his Cthulhu was shit. Okay, horrific, but we do have the taunt in the play. Okay, so this trade's here, <laughs> alive. Okay, hold on. He just wasted his Cthulhu. There's actually a real chance we can win this. You can't be serious, man. Really, dude. So like actually so rude. Let's do this. 
I guess these zero threes are actually not that bad just because of the fact that if he does play another Cthune, at least there's six health on the board. Oh, is he running both Cthunes? I didn't even notice. All right, at least we can answer this. I'm going to keep this card. Okay, something huge, man. Something that, like a taunt actually is unironically not that bad. All right, a random, a random paladin card. This could be the ticket. I just, I can't, I died to cringe. All right, he did shovel another one in. Okay, maybe, maybe there's potential thoughts. I can't play this turn though, unfortunately. I do have to kill this. All right, I guess I'm flooding the board here if I'm gonna be honest. Okay, we're in, we're so in, we're so in. Please God. No, 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 no. He got both of those from Raised Dead? It raised my ass, man. Don't say that. Yo, we're in. Okay, hold on. I think it's this play though. Hold on. Maybe I should. No, I'd do this first. I will actually take the extra card. Oh my God. All right, here we go. Another one? Man, this guy's really shuffling more Cthunes into his deck. This is 11. <gasps> is this lethal? 9, 11 plus, plus, it's lethal, right? I did the math. Oh my God. Wait. I just died of cringe. I just died of cringe. I didn't read the card. I've never played that card in my life. I actually just died of cringe. I actually just died. I just died. I died. Dude, I need to take a walk, chat. Hold on. I need to take a walk out of that one. I'm, I'm actually an ape. I'm an ape in the night. Wait, it didn't matter though. It also was not lethal. It did not matter. It did not matter. Wait, it did not matter. It did not matter because it didn't buff this weapon anyways. I didn't die of cringe. It's fine. I didn't die of cringe. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It didn't matter. He didn't tap. One off. This could be it. This could be it. I'm about to explore the Angoro chat. Here we go. Really? What do I do here? Does that matter? Like, I think I'm trading. I think I'm playing this. I think I'm playing this. Ma breaks Cthune. I could read. He can have my Blood Knight. I have to do this. All right, I set up lethal the following turn. Please don't draw Cthune. Don't draw Cthune. Don't draw Cthune. I'm so close. No! <sighs> I need one damage. One damage. Stormpike Commander, please. Oh! Yes, it's, it has to be. It has to be, right? Please. I'm I'm so confident in this man. I'm swinging face. I don't have to buy the bundle. I don't have to buy the bundle. We did it. We did it. It only took six games, but we did it. I told you this is the best card ever made. And uh, I'm glad you were here for it. Yo, bronze eight though. We did it, Chad. I hope you guys liked it.